You see, when you are working with leaders and you are learning from great men, you take principles and reframe patterns. The pattern of Mr. A and the pattern of Mr. B are not the same. You don't copy something from the church I pastor that destroys your own. Everybody knows as his congregation should be. What did God send you to do? If you help me say yes. Can you imagine telling Jerry now to talk like Pastor Papa Yedebo? Swings of joy has finished. Please talk to me. Or when he wants to pray, he will not pray like me. That God. Everybody has his pattern. Am I talking to somebody here? Everybody has his pattern. I told you many years ago when we were still children. Papa Adebo was teaching something on the Holy Ghost. And the young man raised up his hand and asked a question. He said, you know, uh, the other day I was listening to Benin and Benin said so, so and so. I was trying to correct Papa Yedebo. Adebo, uh, you sorry. Based on what Benin said. Papa Yedebo, Adebo uh, just kept quiet for some time. After the human finished, and just said in a very quiet voice, he said, Benihin is not Holy Ghost. That word, I will forget it till like, I go to eternity. He didn't answer beyond that. He just said, Benihin is not Holy Ghost. What Benihin was teaching was Benihin's pattern. What I'm teaching is my pattern. That was many years ago. Under I think it the host has a Bible school student something. He said, Benihin, it's not Holy Ghost. You need to understand that a man is a great man of God. Doesn't mean everything he says is what we do. We take the principles. The way a mother cow eats is that we eat both the grass and the stick. Then chew the grass and vomit the stick. Have enough sense like the cow. Chew the grass, vomit the stick. Is anybody hearing my voice? You take the principles, you reframe the pattern, how we use your assembly. So you don't take an archaic ancient pattern and kill your church by it. And say, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be what with that end? I mean, you are done. Is anybody hearing me? Over time, things change. Things change. No, you're not hearing me. Things, I was in a church many years ago where we fought even TV. In fact, I need to, I, I'm going, one day, I'm going to go to retreat, carrying placard. We're not going to agree, we're not going to agree. Give me back my TV. Because I can't understand the fuck TV. I grew up not watching TV. In my house, if you watch TV, they break your head. How? Because TV was a devil's box. Now all of you are carrying TV in your hand. How can you be born again carrying TV in your hand? See, times have passed. I don't know if you are getting me. The principle they were teaching is still on. Don't entangle yourself with nonsense. You can carry your phone and then go watch pornography. Go watch immorality. Go do nonsense with it. You are still violating what they told you not to violate. I've met covenant with my eye. There are things I don't look upon. Am I talking to somebody here too? But you can hold it and still live right. Are they hearing me? The principles. But the patterns change. When this church was new, we used to do Sunday school. We used to call it Insights for Living. As the church began to grow, how do you do Sunday school in a church like this? 
one service after another after another they have just one hour 30 minutes i have five services you can't do sunday school so we cancel Sunday school because there's no bible verses that i shall do sunday school or you go to hell so i don't need sunday school when i started newly i was doing night vigil every month until one day i advised myself the people i'm looking for don't go for night vigil The only people that come for night vigil are people who have need that I can't meet. No, you didn't hear. If you have my voice, say yes. All the rich men I'm looking for. There's nobody that gets up in the morning that has money in the bank. And just, unless he's genuinely born again. And just says, he says, no, I'm looking for a place where I can pray all night. Where do I go? No rich man thinks like that. The only people that think like that are those life is flogging. Then where do we go to? No, you are not hearing me. I didn't say stop your night vigil, but that's what I had to sit down, analyze my night vigil, check the attendance record and found out that no. I have to change this. So I restructured my night vigil. That's why I do the five night vigils of uh, destiny. Just brought it only one month, five VGs in a month or a few days into the month, and then continue all the rest of the year. Let's do dinner. Pattern. Am, am I talking to somebody? Because the people I'm looking for are looking for to be in a dinner where they are recognized, where things are dressed well, not where you are binding demons all through the night. What are you doing? What, what are you? How are you affecting the world? How are you? Are you still with me? Oh, they are God. Are you still here? So, what's the pattern? Is Naivij back? No. Is it working for me? No. So, since it's not working for me, I have to put it in a way it will work for me. Now, because I just do only those five Naivijs, every member of Gateway is waiting for those. They know it's a season of visitation. Pam, 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 pam. It's done. We move. So what is the one working for you? Not every Friday, every uh, last Friday is an IVG. You go there, only you and your wife? And the choir member you paid? And then you are shouting, why are you people not coming? They are not coming because nothing is happening. Is that all? Every Thursday is revival service. We also revive our service. Why are you not coming? They say, they say nothing is being revived. What is wrong with restructuring the church? What is wrong with changing the pattern? Are they hearing me? You are living under the shadow of a limiting tradition. I am not one of those that like to eat early in the morning before preaching on Sunday. But if I need it, I will. You ask me why. There's no Bible verse that says, Thou shalt not eat before pulpit. You didn't hear. Is there any Bible verse like that? I am one of those pastors that will not come to preach in a miracle service fasting. I don't do that because I preach with energy. If we are fasting, the moment is getting to two hours to the time, I go and take either a snack or whatever. Gather my energy level, rest a little before go there because when I jump and shout, I want to be full of energy. I don't want to be there, my smile will bite me. There's no law that says I can't do that. Maybe I'm talking to some people. Maybe, maybe I'm talking too much. I'm reducing my spirituality. I should hold myself where I should be. So that people can worship me small. Why should I be falling my own hand? But they say, I am teaching you. Don't let tradition kill you. If you have my voice, say yes. Don't let tradition kill you. 
not led to addition. I, I want you, I'm going to stop here. We'll continue tomorrow. Are you still here? But you see, these shadows must break. There are many of you living under if terrible shadows. You are not free in this kingdom. The burden you are carrying, no be Jehovah give you. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. No be God give you. 